Hi there. Welcome back to our channel. Today's session is dedicated to TOGAF certification practice questions. Please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the like button. And don't forget to share this video because we need your support to grow our channel. Please do watch this video till the end. Let's get started with TOGAF introduction. What is TOGAF? TOGAF is an architecture framework. TOGAF provides the methods and tools for assisting in the acceptance, production, use, and maintenance of an enterprise architecture. It is based on an iterative process model. Supported by best practices and a reusable set of existing architecture assets. Now, let's try to understand how TOGAF 9 exam is organized. The open group has categorized TOGAF into two parts. Depending on the level or type of certificate you opt for. TOGAF 9 exam is divided into two parts. That is, TOGAF Part 1 and TOGAF Part 2. In TOGAF Part 1 exam, you have 40 questions with time limit of 1 hour. In TOGAF Part 2 exam, you have 8 questions with time limit of 1 hour 30 minutes. You also have an option to take both Part 1 and Part 2 as combined exam. In that case, you have 48 questions with time limit of 2 hour 30 minutes. Let's go through TOGAF practice questions and answers. In which phase the architecture contracts are prepared? The option are Phase F Phase G Phase A or in the preliminary phase The correct answer is Phase G. The following steps are completed in implementation and governance phase. Provide architectural oversight for the implementation. Prepare and issue architecture contracts. Ensure that the implementation project conforms to the architecture. Which one of the following statements best describes TOGAF? TOGAF is a tool for developing only technology architectures only. TOGAF is a framework and method for architecture development. TOGAF is a business model. TOGAF is a method for IT governance. The correct answer is, TOGAF is a framework and method for architecture development. TOGAF is both an architecture framework and a method for architecture development. It is a tool for assisting in the acceptance, production, use, and maintenance of enterprise architectures. Which one of the following best describes why you need a framework for enterprise architecture? A framework can speed up the process. A framework ensures more complete coverage. A framework provides a set of tools and a common vocabulary. All of the above. The correct answer is, all of the above. The purpose of enterprise architecture is to optimize the process across the enterprise. It helps in integrating the fragmented legacy processes. A framework also supports the delivery of the business strategy. Which of the following types of architecture is not one of the domain architectures? that is produced by the TOGAF ADM process. Business architecture. Data architecture. Application architecture. Pattern architecture. The correct answer is, pattern architecture. Pattern architecture is not one of the four domain architectures. However, the four domains are, business, data, application, and technology architecture. Which part of the TOGAF document explain a number of architecture development phases, together with narratives, for each phase? Part 1, Introduction. Part 2, Architecture Development Method. Part 3, ADM Guidelines and Techniques. Part 4, Architecture Content Framework. The correct answer is, Part 2, Architecture Development Method, ADM, is the core of TOGAF 9. It outlined the TOGAF ADM cycle, a detailed step-by-step -step approach to develop an enterprise architecture. Which of the TOGAF architecture development phases includes the development of data and application architectures? The option are Phase A, Architecture Vision Phase B, Business Architecture Phase C, Information Systems Architectures 
Phase D, Technology Architecture. The correct answer is, Phase C. In the Information Systems Architecture phase, that is Phase C, the data and application architectures for an architecture project is developed. Which architecture content framework describe as a work product that is contractually defined, formally reviewed, and signed off by the stakeholders? The option are Artifact Building Block Catalog Deliverable The correct answer is Deliverable. A deliverable is a work product that is contractually specified and in turn formally reviewed, agreed, and signed off by the stakeholders. Complete the sentence. The enterprise continuum is an artifact, an architecture framework, a technical reference model, a method for classifying artifacts. The correct answer is a method for classifying artifacts. The Enterprise Continuum is a virtual repository of all the architecture assets, including models, patterns, architecture descriptions, and so on. In which ADM phase does the initial implementation planning take place? Phase G, Implementation Governance. Phase C, Information Systems Architectures. Phase D, Technology Architecture. Phase E, Opportunities and Solutions. The correct answer is, Phase E, Opportunities and Solutions. In this phase, initial implementation planning is done, and major implementation projects are identified. If needed, transition architectures are developed, in this phase. Which of the following is the reason, why the first execution, of an ADM cycle, will be more difficult than later cycles? The option are, Management is not familiar with the ADM process because there are few architecture assets available because of lack of governance because of insufficient trained architecture practitioners. The correct answer is because there are few architecture assets available. In fact, the first execution of the ADM will often be the hardest since the architecture assets available for reuse will be relatively scarce even at this stage of development. However, there will be architecture assets available from external sources such as TOGAF, as well as the IT industry at large, that could be leveraged in support of the effort. As architecture deliverables and work products, created in one ADM phase, are modified by subsequent phases. How does TOGAF suggest tracking the changes? The option are Change Control Committee Document checkpoints and journaling. Publish and subscribe system. Version numbers. The correct answer is version numbers. During the execution of ADM cycle, there are many document which is generated in each phase. The output in an early phase may be modified in a later phase, and the versioning of the output document is managed through the version numbers. The architectures that address the detailed enterprise needs and business requirements within the architecture continuum are known as The option are Strategic architectures Foundation architectures Industry architectures Common systems architectures Organization-specific architectures The correct answer is organization-specific architectures. The arrows in the leftward direction focus on meeting the enterprise needs and business requirements. Enterprise needs and business requirements are addressed in increasing detail from left to right. Which one of the following is described as a view of the architecture repository and provides methods for classifying architecture and solution artifacts as they evolve? The option are Architecture Landscape Architecture Governance Repository Enterprise Continuum Governance Log The correct answer is Enterprise Continuum. The Enterprise Continuum is a model for structuring a virtual repository and providing methods for classifying architecture and solution artifacts. Which one of the following represents the detailed construction of the architectures defined in the Architecture Continuum? The option are 
Architecture Building Blocks Conceptual Models Foundation Architectures Reference Models Solution Building Blocks The correct answer is Solution Building Blocks. Solution Building Blocks are implementations of the architectures identified in the Enterprise's Architecture Continuum. Complete the following sentence. Processing diagram are referred as The option are Core Application Architecture Diagram Extension Diagram of Business Architecture Core Diagram of Data Architecture Extension Diagram of Technology Architecture The correct answer is Extension Diagram of Technology Architecture. The three category of Extension Diagram are Processing Diagram, Networked Computing or Hardware Diagram, Network and Communication Diagram. Which of the following is not a dimension for limiting the scope of the architecture activity? The option are Depth Time period Scope Breath The correct answer is scope. The architecture scope is defined by for dimensions that is breadth, depth, time period, and architecture domains. Which of the following is not one of the four architecture domains that TOGAF deals with. The option are Security Architecture Data Architecture Business Architecture Technology Architecture The correct answer is Security Architecture. TOGAF deals with four architecture domain that is business, data, application, and technology architecture. Which of the following is not true about a viewpoint? The option are It is generic. It is where you are looking from. It is specific. It's a stakeholder view. The correct answer is, it is where you are looking from. It defines the perspective from which a view is taken. Please do join us for next tutorial on architecture development method. Thank you for watching this video. Please do share your feedback and hit like button. Please do visit our channel. For more such tutorial videos on COBOL, KIX, JCL, VSAM, IBM Mainframe, TOGAF, and Microsoft Azure.